Hey everybody, I messed up. My brain just completely missed the whole planning aspect of meal planning and I forgot so many things. Let me tell you all about it. So last week was absolutely crazy. Allison had VBS all week. So she was gone from like nine to about 12, Monday through Thursday. Actually Thursday, she was there until two o'clock. So I had roughly three-ish hours all, you know, all four days to get my work done and stuff. And I'm like, man, it's gonna be amazing. She'll be at VBS. I can get all my work done. It's gonna be great. Well, how many of you, like when you, when you, when you say, okay, I've got all this time, suddenly other things take up that time. And then you're like, well, what happened to all of it? I didn't get anything done. That's basically what happened to me this week. Just things kept happening and I just never got around to a lot of my work. And then Friday, we went to the Indianapolis Children's Museum and we spent the entire day there. Uh, there's a video on that coming out on Wednesday on our other channel. I'll link the other channel below if you haven't subscribed yet. But because I was gone all day on Friday, I did my meal planning, grocery shopping, and like my pickup on Thursday instead. So my meal planning and grocery shopping time got pushed back a day. And that kind of messed up my schedule. That along with the Allison being at VBS and all that sort of thing. I just didn't pay a whole lot of attention to what I was doing. So I ended up forgetting a lot of things. Um, I didn't even plan a breakfast for next week. I even have a checklist, okay? I Right now, I have to have a checklist for everything. Do I have at least seven dinners planned? Do I have lunches for everybody? Do I have a breakfast? Do I have like an evening snack for all of us? I have that checklist. But because of all the things going on, I just for some reason didn't check the checklist and so I just forgot a whole bunch of things. So yeah, a lot of times that can make me feel like a failure, but you know what? It happens. I'm still working on it. It just means that I'm human. But you know, there's a couple of funny things that come out of it too. This week I went to Walmart and Mr. Max for a grocery shopping. So let's get into the haul and I'll show you what I bought or maybe even didn't buy. I got mostly essentials at Mr. Max today. However, I did find something new that I wanted to try. I will feature it in another video. For first, this is the item, okay? They have gotten in a ton of bulk soups recently. Many, many different soups. And they're like five pounds, eight pounds, all sorts of different flavors. And I figured I would buy one to try. So this is Uno, which I believe is a restaurant, Italian wedding soup with chicken meatballs. Now I will say we went here on a Saturday, so all their frozen food is always 10% off on Saturdays. So if I, I'm gonna look at the receipt and whatever price it really is after the discount, I'll put it up here for you. Anyway, so this is an eight pound bag of soup. Um, don't even know how many servings are in here, but um, maybe when the weather gets cooler in the next couple of weeks, I will um, heat this up for you all and try it and see whether we just had a huge fall here. Okay. And then I will see whether it's worth it to buy soup in bulk. So we'll have to see. And then I got three more boxes of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patties. We keep these in the freezer for quick breakfasts. And Allison wanted some ice cream, so she chose Grater's Black Cherry Chocolate Chip. Grater's is amazing. They, uh, Kings Island has a Grater's in there, and we try to go maybe like once a month or something. We also needed more snack bars. So I got two boxes of the Nature Valley, the peanut butter chocolate chip. Um, I thought I grabbed the last two boxes, but it turns out there were three there, so I left one. So we got those. And then John wanted some Mio. So one of these is blackberry raspberry and the other one is orange tangerine. So there's that. And I had to stock up on more of these little buffalo sauce cups. Uh, they, you can, you can buy like little individual condiment bags or containers like this. You can fill a quart size bag for $3. So I got more buffalo sauce and they happen to have Nutella this time, which is pretty awesome. So I just grabbed a couple of them to kind of top off the bag. 
Well, I must say, <laughs> this is kind of what happens when you rush through grocery shopping or like adding stuff to your grocery list. I'll explain more here in a minute. So I'll start over here. Uh, I got some bread. First of all, a loaf of whole wheat bread for sandwiches. And then this one, I just ordered like the great value brand standard white bread and they substituted Wonder Bread, which is fine. Okay, so here is the, the weird thing, all right? So I ordered um, Greek yogurt, not, I think this is non-fat kind. Yeah, this is the non-fat Greek yogurt, okay? So I put that on my list, but little did I know, I also added some whole milk Greek yogurt. So I had to look through my list to see, okay, did I actually order this or is it a mistake? But no, I somehow put that on my list as well. So I gotta figure out something to do with all this Greek yogurt. Um, this was also a substitution. Um, I ordered the Great Value vanilla yogurt and they just substituted the Dannon Light and Fit. And I got a big bag of mixed vegetables. I'm making some chicken pot pie mixture and that's going in there. Back here, we've got two cans of diced tomatoes for some recipes and a can of black olives for a recipe as well a container of French vanilla coffee creamer for us, then some tomato basil garlic pasta sauce for, it's like a pizza casserole is what I'm making, and then some shredded mozzarella cheese to go with that casserole, some grated parmesan, we are just about out of it, and a box of penne to go with that pizza pasta casserole. Some more cooking spray, we are just about out. And a tub of butter, we completely ran out of that. Then a box of sandwich bags. Um, this was kind of the first one I chose. Apparently there's four different colors in it, so Allison might like those, I don't know. Then a bag of more Zesty Ranch veggie straws and some peanuts. I, we were just about out of those. I bought a bunch of bags of stuff. So, a two pound bag of dried black beans, and a two pound bag of white rice, and a one pound bag of lentils. I bought some more storage containers, and I'll show those off in another video, but I needed some bigger storage containers to fit things like this. So I'll show you that later. And then as far as produce goes, I have some tomatoes. I was gonna make a salad. Some baby carrots to go in a recipe and two containers of mushrooms for two different things. Some strawberries for Allison. And okay, here's the other thing. One banana. I honestly thought I put in for like seven bananas, but no, it was just one banana. So I cannot imagine what the guy was thinking when like he saw that like really just <laughs> one banana. Anyway, so that, yeah, that's that. The two things I'm missing are some coffee and romaine hearts. They were unavailable, so I'm gonna have to find them somewhere else. I also went to Kroger in the middle of the week just to buy some peanut butter. I love Kroger peanut butter. There, it's the cheapest and I just love the taste of it. So that's not shown in the haul, but it is included in the price. So my total for this weekend was $86.88. I have like 14-ish dollars left over. So I'm gonna use some of that money to buy my coffee, buy the lettuce, but those two things that Walmart was out of, and maybe even other things that I forgot to buy, who knows. One of the things I did for this week was make recipes out of some cookbooks that I have. I found that I was getting a little bit overwhelmed with checking the internet. Um, it's so much easier to look inside a cookbook because there's just not as much. It's actually something physical that I can hold on to and see what all the recipes are in there. So a lot of the stuff I am taking from those books. I am making a chicken pot pie filling, which I made a little while ago and I sort of made a video on it but didn't show like all the exact instructions. But I'm making a big batch of it so I can have some for dinner and then freeze it 
and then I will make sure that it comes out in a video pretty soon as well. I also have chickpea curry on the menu again. It's been on the menu for like three weeks now and we just haven't had to make it because I've had so many leftovers. I'm also making a slow cooker lentils and veggies that I found in a cookbook as well as a pizza casserole. I believe that's an oven recipe. And then with the lettuce, I plan on making taco salads. I still have some meat in the freezer, like I have taco season ground turkey. I've also got a couple other packages of ground beef and ground turkey, so I'm gonna use that up as well. And then pancakes too. I don't really know what I'm going to make for breakfast. It'll most likely be pancakes or possibly even French toast. If I go out to the store to buy bread, I could make a little egg casserole. I am not sure yet. But yes, isn't it interesting how a little change in your schedule can basically throw off your entire life? Please leave me a comment and tell me if you have done the exact same thing before. I know I'm not alone, but sometimes we just need to hear it. Thank you all for your grace and patience as I am apparently struggling to get the meal plan done every week. Make sure you subscribe, like this, video, ring that bell, so that way you can see any more of my grocery haul mess ups like this one, my other recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to chat with you.